party no matter what your style. Now we're in our formal set. So here are all of our experts. We've got Shona Jensen here, one of our DIY gals. Yeah. Chef Massimo Capra, Brian Gluckstein of Brian Gluckstein fame. Lisa Rogers, our stylist. And Devin Rajkumar, one of our chefs looking dapper today. And looking dapper. If you are the type that wants to go for a formal sort of style party, you know, there's certain things you're going to want to adhere to. And that's starting with the, the place setting, how that's you've right. done it, Lisa. Well, you it's know, gorgeous. It's a really interesting thing because we were talking, Brian and I were laughing. There's so many people that have a dining room that they never, ever yeah. use. And they have dishes that maybe they got passed down through their family that are collecting dust somewhere in a cupboard. And to me, it's all about now. Something sort of changed for me where it was really coming back to the table. And it was really being together because that is friends, family, wine, food, yeah. great laughs, and good conversation that in a setting like this, you can really share. Yeah, and use that's, that space. And yes. The stuff that you Use registered it. when you were married or caught from your grandmother. <laughs> Pull it out. Pull it out. out. And it, it's about this wonderful, and Massimo has done for us this like five course meal. So casual would be three, but formal goes to five, which yeah. I love. <laughs> because you would have a, a little uh, amuse girl at the beginning, yes. you know, just to uh, bring you into the, the mood of eating. Yeah. So just to tease your palate. So with a little bit of champagne or whatever champagne you have left over, and then you will move into a nice light salad. Yeah and perhaps even a soup. And, uh, instead of a lobster bisque, especially now at the time of uh, New Year's Eve and uh, Christmas and all that, you always have bisque on the menu, right? Yes. So what my idea would be to have a nice lobster salad surrounded by a beautiful brodetto, which is a light broth. A, yeah, a light. Are you inviting us to your party? That's I'm there. Well, it's only here. We can eat yes. a fresh <laughs> one all the time. So. Yeah. And and the that's point. right. And then we have a yeah. nice... Uh, well, we have a veal chop because that pleases everybody normally. Yeah. Uh, my clientele loves veal chops. Oh, yeah. So a veal chop is always pretty, it's beautiful to look at. It can be lamb, it can be a roast. For sure. It can be something a little bit more delicate. I mean, a chicken breast if you want to. But uh, And you finish it off with a spoon dessert. It's beautiful. A, a spoon dessert. That's a, a chestnut panna cotta. Oh, I love that. You know what? Yeah. You say, Massimo, don't do a cake because a cake oh. is just too much. I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> what do you mean by okay. a cake being too let much? Me, let me put it down this way. Everyone has got the gluten allergy right now, and then they go and eat cake at the end of the meal. You know, I mean, give me a break. Why would you eat a, a, a loaf of bread at the end of your meal when you already had everything? And, and also the you place setting. You don't want people to be stuffed. Yeah. No, In that's a formal right. gathering, right. you're not trying to leave stuff rolling out of your chair. Yeah, yeah, you saw a little no taste, way. right? Yeah. But the place settings are important, too, to be able to, to share all those wonderful Absolutely. things. And yeah. I just want to mention, this is from this store, Hops and Grace, that both Brian and I know so well. And they have the most exquisite tableware at all different price points. And it is the most beautiful store, is it not? It is. And of course, LT, thank them for this gorgeous yeah. table and beautiful carpet. You have to set it properly if you're going formal, not yes. down to an abbey properly. No, yeah. the plans, well, you could. Plans. You could. You don't need to get the measuring tape out, but it, things yeah. have got to be sort of the way they're right. supposed to be. So you're doing five courses. That's right. uh, you need to have the flatware to accommodate those That's five it. courses. If you, um, if you ever forget or your kids forget, which side your glass is on yes. and which side your bread and butter plate is you go like this and one is a B and one is a D. D is for drinks, B is for bread. Your mother did that? functions at round tables all the time and people get the bread and they're like yeah, which yeah. one I said grandmother said B for bread D for drinks just go like that and tell your kids they'll never forget which is their bread plate yeah. and which is their drink I love it so when you go out to a fancy function and everyone's doing this at their your table they're not that sophisticated y'all they're not it's a really important thing to remember is it's about conversation right. so you don't want to have flowers or candles that are too high in the middle of the table because you want to be able to relate so I think when you can sit down, and especially when you have kids and you bring them to the table, you know what I think it's so wonderful. wonderful. Having good looking guests. Wow. Yeah. So, can we talk about our, <laughs> let me talk about our models for a little bit. Fashion, if you want to go for a formal look. Brian, you have done the poll for today for the yes, fashion. So Shona, you look this, great. I love this skirt. This is all from Hudson's Bay from Pink Tartan, and I love a little sparkle. Every woman should have sparkle. I see a little sparkle here in the yeah. front. And I love this skirt. Also, a turtleneck I just think is fabulous. I just think it's a simple for a house party, a classic, relaxed look. And this skirt is, I mean, she's got a gorgeous body, but very forgiving skirt. Yeah. So there's a lot that can go in those pleats. <laughs> and the, isn't it true? 
And then the shoe, for me, this is the shoe. I don't care what buckle, what bow is on it. That is a shoe that in 10 years will still be as gorgeous. And it is very flattery. It's not like a horse hoof that some of those shoes are. <laughs> This it's is classic. ladylike. It's timeless. And I just think, like, I look at women that have been wearing these shoes, like my mother, for instance, and my nieces, that have been wearing, like, ladylike shoes. It never goes out of style. That's right. But I love this shoe. This is just this cool, I think this is a Kirkwood, and it's just modern. The skirt length, too. The skirt length, the yes. The skirt length. And I, and I like the here. fact that you did it with a turtleneck. Yes. A dressy, a dressy yeah. skirt like that for Ladies Christmas. Ladies should wear a skirt that you can sit down in. Absolutely. This yes. is a skirt yes. that you can sit down. It's not too yes. short. It's, yeah. and it's you just can eat at the buffet. Yeah. Okay, Sean, oh, take a seat because you can sit in that skirt. I can. And, let, and can you stand up, attractive young man? When do I get to eat? You're going to get to eat soon. He's a chef. He's always thinking about the food. Let's talk so about this. So I thought look. the guy should wear a turtleneck too. Every guy looks great in a turtleneck. Yes. But what's interesting about this, this is a classic black velvet blazer. He could wear that with a cool pair of jeans. He could wear that with anything. Every man should have a, just a great pair of black pants. Again, you can wear that to work with it. And the turtleneck, too, can be with jeans, with chinos, things like that. So you don't have to buy fancy things to go to beautiful dinner parties. It's just get this. And then a simple pair of boots. I just love the boots. But it's a classic look. And, yeah. and every guy will look good in this. Give us a spin, Dev. <laughs> Separate. Separate. And, and men should always wear pants where the. <laughs> That's it. Finish the sentence. Ready. Let me finish. Yes. Let me finish. Where the inseam is high because if you'll see guys wearing them and the, the inseam is like down here, yeah. they look dumpy and baggy. This, baggy. if you have the inseam high, the waist lower, your legs. It's the same for women. Your legs will look longer, you'll look thinner. So women and men don't wear the crotch down here. No. Wear, make it, like, make sure it That's fits. a tip for guys. I see guys in the pants. They look sloppy. Yeah, so yeah. So this makes you look athletic even if you aren't. I like the first piece of advice. Men should always wear pants. <laughs> yeah, I like that. that was good. Okay, Master, well, what's that over there in yeah. that? Those are dates yeah. wrapped in uh, bacon, but oh they're stuffed with gorgonzola and uh, hot peppers. Oh. Okay, but does that not sound good to you? Yeah. Yes. And they, are, they have a little bit of balsamic uh, glaze on it. I love that. Yeah. 